Today I'm going to show you how to lose weight at home for free. Okay, to lose weight at home, you'll need a stopwatch, a chair or something to sit on, two cones or two objects, and some racquetballs or tennis balls. Okay, this is what you're going to do to lose weight at home. Take your two cones or two objects and space them 15 to 30 feet apart or more. Take your stopwatch, time yourself, and run back and forth as fast as you can for 30 seconds. Now instead of using a stopwatch, in this video I'm using a timer clock that sounds an alarm after 30 seconds, letting me know when to stop, and my cones are about 25 to 30 feet apart in this video. But you should have at least 15 feet of open space where you can do this workout, and even if you don't, do this workout outside or find somewhere else with open space. After 30 seconds of running back and forth, you sit down and rest for 30 seconds. And after your 30 second rest, you get back up and run back and forth again for 30 seconds. And you're going to alternate running back and forth as fast as you can for 30 seconds and sitting down for 30 seconds for 10 to 30 minutes. How long and how often should you be doing this to lose the most weight you can? Well, you have two options, and option number one is, you can do this workout for 10 minutes, 5 times a day or more, but you want to rest for at least 45 minutes between each 10 minute workout you do. So for example, you'll do one 10 minute workout at 7 a.m., another 10 minute workout at 9 a.m., again at 11.30 a.m., a fourth 10 minute workout at 2 p.m., another 10 minute workout at 4 p.m., and another 10 minute workout at 5.30 p.m. and maybe a final 10 minute workout at 7 p.m. and you can work out like this three to five times a week. And option number two is if you're busy you can do this workout one to two times a day once in the morning and again in the evening for 20 to 30 minutes three to five times a week. And here's a quick tip if you can only work out once a day do it in the morning because you'll burn more fat working out in the mornings. But if you do have time, I urge you to do option number one where you do many short 10 minute workouts during the day to lose weight much faster. You can still lose weight quick with option number two, but option number one is better. Just look at fast weight loss tip number one at nonloss.com forward slash fast to see why. Here's some more tips you can use to lose weight faster with this workout. Instead of running back and forth for only 30 seconds, you can run back and forth as fast as you can for 45 to 60 seconds before taking your 30 second sit down breaks. And this is something you really want to do once this workout gets too easy for you. And another thing you can do to burn fat faster is to run faster. And a little trick I like to do to make myself run faster is to place a box of racquetballs on one side and an empty box on the other side and I try to get as many racquetballs as I can into the empty box within 30 seconds and each time I try to beat my personal record challenging myself to run faster and burn more fat. And even if you get tired while running back and forth don't stop. Just walk or jog back and forth if you get tired. Just don't stop. Although this workout will help you lose weight you also have to eat right. So go to nowloss.com forward slash eight to see eight easy rules you need to follow to lose weight fast.